On March 23rd, TikTok CEO Sho Zhe Chu testified before the House Energy and Commerce Committee on Capitol Hill. He faced over five hours of questioning by lawmakers about the safety and security of the popular social media app owned by the Chinese company ByteDance. On April 17th, Senator John Fetterman arrived at the U.S. Capitol as he returns to the Senate following treatment for clinical depression. This picture, taken on May 9th, shows Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy, accompanied by Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, who's speaking to the media during a press conference in front of the West Wing at the White House. President Joe Biden met with Democrat and Republican leaders of the House and Senate to discuss debt ceiling negotiations. On May 26th, McCarthy is seen speaking to members of the media. Republican and White House negotiators are moving closer to an agreement to raise the debt limit to avoid a catastrophic default. This photo shows President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill Biden arriving at the White House from Newcastle, Delaware on May 30th. Earlier in the week, President Biden and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy came to a deal to raise the debt ceiling, which was passed by the Senate. You see here Representative James Comer leaving the Capitol Visitor Center's sensitive compartment and information facility on June 5th, where he reviewed an FBI document alleging a criminal financial scheme involving then-Vice President Joe Biden. On June 8th, smoke from wildfires in Canada enshrouds the U.S. Capitol. The air quality index reached code purple as smoke continued to move south over the east coast of the United States. Here you see Israeli President Isaac Herzog addressing a joint session of Congress in the House chamber, the U.S. Capitol, on July 19th. This picture, also taken on July 19th, shows IRS criminal investigator Joseph Ziegler previously known as Agent X, testifying during a House Oversight Committee hearing related to the Justice Department's investigation of Hunter Biden. Ziegler recommended prosecutors charge Hunter Biden with multiple felonies, alleging the president's youngest son had improperly claimed business deductions. On July 20th, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is testifying during a subcommittee hearing on the weaponization of the federal government. The hearing focused on allegations of cooperation between big tech companies and government agencies to obstruct free speech. White House Press Secretary Corinne Jean-Pierre takes questions during a daily briefing on July 24th. During the briefing, reporters questioned Jean-Pierre about Hunter Biden's business dealings. The president ha was never in business with his son. I just don't have anything else to add. This is David Grush on July 26th, preparing to testify before the House Oversight and Accountability Subcommittee on UFOs. Grush, who went from being part of the Pentagon's UAP task force to becoming a whistleblower, told the committee non-human biological matter from a crashed craft of unknown origin exists. Here's Devin Archer, Hunter Biden's former business partner, as he departs Capitol Hill after testifying during a closed meeting with the House Oversight Committee investigations into his involvement with the business dealings of the president's son, Hunter Biden. This is outside the U.S. District Court on August 3rd. Men are seen holding blacks for Trump signs, as former President Donald Trump was arraigned on four criminal counts related to his involvement with the January 6th insurrection and alleged efforts to overturn the 2020 presidential elections. Trump pleaded not guilty to all charges. Microsoft founder Bill Gates is shown arriving on Capitol Hill to attend an AI Insight Forum on September 13th. Lawmakers convened with some of the top business leaders in the artificial intelligence sector to seek advice on potential legislation within the next year that will encourage the development of artificial intelligence while also containing its risks. This is from September 15th, when former President Donald Trump takes part in a prayer after speaking at the Concerned Women for America Legislative Action Committee conference in Washington, D.C. Former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is seen here speaking at a news conference in October on Capitol Hill. McCarthy announced he will be leaving Congress at the end of the year, just two months after his removal from the speakership. McCarthy is the only speaker in history to be voted out of the job. This is Representative George Santos on October 11th, leading a House Republican conference meeting to nominate a Speaker of the House. According to a new indictment, Santos stole the identities of donors to his campaign and then used their credit cards to make tens of thousands of dollars in unauthorized charges. Here, Representative Eric Burleson is seen showing fellow lawmakers an illustration of Donald Trump dressed in a bee costume. This just after Mike Johnson was elected Speaker on October 25th. That same day, here's newly elected Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, taking a selfie with Representative Corey Mills in front of the Capitol. Here, people are seen rallying on November 4th for the National March on Washington Free Palestine. This picture was taken at Freedom Plaza in Washington, D.C., as people are calling for a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas. Decorations and ornaments adorn columns in the entrance hall at the White House on November 27th. The theme for this year's White House decorations is magic, wonder, and joy. It is designed to capture the delight and imagination of childhood. On November 29th, activists with the advocacy group Move On display a 15-foot inflatable Representative George Santos on the National Mall. 
a House ethics report of Santos found substantial evidence of fraud and ethics violations. On December 1st, Representative George Santos abruptly departs Capitol Hill when the House voted to expel him. Santos is the sixth lawmaker ever to be expelled from the House. Here, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky walks with Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer as he arrives at the U.S. Capitol to meet with congressional leadership on December 12th. Zelensky met with congressional leaders and President Biden during his visit to discuss continuing military aid as the country runs out of money in its war against Russia. In a rare public address, U.S. President Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, spoke to reporters outside the U.S. Capitol on December 13th. Hunter Biden defied a subpoena from Congress to testify behind closed doors, ahead of a House vote on an impeachment inquiry against his father.